How's it going, everyone? So today we're going to be going over how to create and delete Lovelace dashboards. This is very helpful if you want to take control, but you don't want to lose that generated dashboard in the beginning. Stick around and I'll show you. So dashboards are your, in your left hand menu here. You can see that I have over six dashboards here created and you'll be able to create those yourself. So for example, what if you want to take control of Lovelace and you want to edit your own and create your own cards and, and update your dashboard for your view, but you don't want to lose this generated view. You don't want to lose what you know and love already. Well, guess what? You could do both. So what you could do is let's say you want to take control really quickly. We go up to the overflow menu in the top right. We hit edit dashboard. And we are presented with this prompt that says, do you want to take control of your Lovelace dashboard? This is not scary because we can always go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to show you that right after this. We can click take control. Don't need even need to read anything because it's not important. Just go ahead and create a new one. Take control. Now you can add cards to this Lovelace dashboard and also delete cards from this Lovelace dashboard. Okay, now I've screwed this up. I don't have any generated dashboard anymore. It's not updating automatically whenever I add my entities or my devices. What do I need to do to get that back? Well, it's really easy. Go to the configuration, go to Lovelace dashboards, and click on the bottom right, add dashboard. Type in your title, click the URL. It should automatically create it for you, and click create. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you'll see that it created a Lovelace dashboard just for you. And it's back to that old state of generated. So whenever you create any devices or add any devices to your Home Assistant instance, it's going to automatically create them in this dashboard. It's never risky to take control of your dashboard anymore. Go ahead and do it and experiment with Lovelace to see what you can create on your own. And if you want any tutorials on how to create and take control of your Lovelace dashboard and create really awesome looking dashboards, check out some videos that I have linked in the description and I'll have them floating around somewhere. Uh, on the screen as well, little cards that you'll see. Um, take, use those to kind of jumpstart your Lovelace dashboard into looking incredible, really, really easy. Now you know how to create new dashboards. Get out there and create new dashboards and show me what you got.